What's going on, everybody? This is Bishop Brad coming to you on the Refining Fire Chilies native pepper series. Coming to y'all on peppers that a lot of us don't really know about, but we all love the jalapeno, we all love the habanero, we all love the poblano. These are all famous native chilies that basically everyone just knows about. I'm coming to you on chilies that we can grow with our families that are mild, that can be dried, that can be that can be used in salsas and salsa and 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 dried into rubs and but but we're chilies of the native lands of the Indians and and the Spanish. You know, one of the biggest things about these peppers that I'm learning is a lot of these peppers are becoming extinct. You can only find them in certain areas, and due to the research and the findings of these pods, uh, I'm actually able to bring to you this series uh, when it comes to Jim finding. Now, for, here's what I mean. Here's what I'm getting to. Look at this thing. This is called the Valero. This is brought to us by from Buena Ventura Valley, located in the state of Chihuahua, Mexico. Now, just like the hatch chili, dirt, when these things are green, you can actually roast them. It almost has a tad sweet flavor to it when they're green. But once once they hit about the ripening, because they go from from they, they they turn color from green to brown, uh, they more they're more rich in flavor. Uh, they have some chocolate earthy style undertones and flavor with this. But. Uh, Look at this thing. I love these type of... I mean, these can be stuffed. You can use them. Now, it, it says here, the average over about one inch wide and five to six inches in length. And uh, the other being the... What does it say here? It says, this is actually used to make the famous Mexican beef dish, uh, the Chili Colorado. So... It's going to be low in heat, mild in heat, rich in flavor, and these can be used in any sort of way, fresh, green, you can roast them, and when they turn around this color, you can actually powder them up, make some good loving with these. So, let's try this thing out, let's try Thick walled, juicy, good lord. Mmm, Jim, I taste your water bill in here. Oh, Lord, Jim. It's peppers. Look at that. Look at that thing. Man, this is good. No heat. I don't taste no heat, which is wonderful. I'm tasting a rich chili flavor. I, I taste the earthy undertones. Good Lord, this is delicious. The Valero, everybody. From, Ch from Chihuahua, Mexico. <laughs> I'm growing all these chilies next year. Growers out there. The hobbyists out there. Fans that just want to get into the game. I'm bringing to you chilies that are almost extinct. I'm actually not able to bring you others that were. Why these aren't at our local grocery stores blows my mind. But you can get the, the seeds for these pods at www.superhotchilies.com www.superhotchilies.com Contact Jim Duffy at Refining Fire Chilies. The work that Jim has done and finding these pods in general, growing them out, he's got about 28 different varieties of native chilies that none of us really get to hear about or know about. Refining Fire Chilies, man. The Valero. This is a winner. I would imagine this is good just in the raw once it's turned its its mature color. I can imagine roasting these. I can imagine stuffing these. I can imagine drying these and making it in a This is Bishop Brad, baby, coming to you on my native chili series.
I'm going to see y'all on the next one. The Valero. See y'all. Bye-bye.